Hello everyone, my name is Lu. Today I'm going to talk about automatic drum transcription using audio and video analysis. So starting from the general music transcription, it is a technique which transforms music signal into music notations. Looking through all the uh, researchers, uh, we find that most research focus on the four instruments, uh, where there are three pitched instruments, piano, violin, and cello. The core uh, problems for uh, the transcription system for this kind of instruments lies on the multi-pitch detection, while for the uh, drums, as a representative of percussive sound transcription systems, which has, which has received the least mm, attention. So that's why I'm focusing on this. So what's the benefit for the for this system? First, is it defines the music style and structure. Second, it contains the rhythm and tempo information. And in for real life cases, it helps musicians for doing music composition and it helps people for recording live performance for repeat use. And uh, the last is what I found, because recently I'm playing drums, I found that the drum scores is hard to find for some popular songs, and that's why this will be help. So this is a, a basic set of drum kits. It consists of five categories, increase bass drum, a snare drum, high height, and two cymbals, and three tom toms, and these are the notations for matching these drum sets. As the as my survey is focusing on the transcription process, but so the visualization part is not including this. That thus we identify the uh, kind of three components of this systems which compose of drum extraction, onset detection, and feature extraction. This gives a general view of uh, how a music file looks like in a spectro spectrogram. So starting from the drum ex extra extraction, uh, here we use the most popular approach known negative matrix factorization which is pretty cool for uh, uh, analyze the different components in uh, polyphon polyphonic music. Here the V matrix represents for the spectrogram of the whole music file. And the purpose we want is we want to depose it into a product of two non-negative matrix, where the W matrix uh, stands for the magnitude spectra of the of instrument components and the H matrix stands for the activation of each component with, res with respect to time. For get uh, optimal results for this decomposition, we introduce this cost function. When, when it's reached its minimum, thus we got the optimal of the decomposition. So the next stage is the onset detection where the onset stands for the uh, start of the of a sound in a music. Uh, let's just go to the next slides to grab how it works. Just see here it's the music signal and the red lines just mark the onset parts. And and this is in a separate instrument how we find the peak part at the onset positions. Can I go back? Okay. Um, and then we introduce the techniques inside of this uh, process. So we have a detection function which it calls the spectral flux method minus the threshold. Well, firstly, we, we use short, short time for real transform 
to my daytime sequence into uh, a frequency domain. And next, we use the spectral flex method to grab the whole energy across all frequency beams. And next, we have defined a dynamic search holding for picking up the peaks, which stands for the uh, onset. So if only detection function has a result larger than zero, then we get the onset position. So the next stage uh, related to feature extraction, uh, I don't really focus much on this, but through the other works, there are main two aspects of the features. So the first contains the temporal features, which you can, show, you can see here, uh, consists of short time energies, magnitude averages, and extra. And the uh, spectral features also, it's, it's spectral count centroids, valence, and dimensions, extra. These are all calculated from the signals, so uh, we don't focus more on that. As the most researchers don't, uh, as most researchers focus uh, on the audio analysis, and nowadays there are large available videos and the in real life cases, how we do to get a uh, drum score is to manually transcribe fr from these videos. So we add video analysis makes sense for helping uh, improvements improve this kind of systems. Not uh, as I found, there's a uh, uh, there's not much research on this. Uh, there are two general approaches. Uh, the DAG group shows one approach, which did charm top uh, recognition and detect the hatings on the drum tops. And we use this to generate the video transcription system, and we add them to the audio transcription systems that would generate outputs. So for the two stages in these approaches, the drum top detection uses a uh, ellipse detection algorithms to detect the uh, upper uh, areas of the drums. And the heads detection, we tried to extract the silhouettes of the drummers and drumsticks and to define the heads actions on it. And there's also um, another approach which defines a 2D model. Uh, there's, uh, there, are what, there are two uh, waiting masks defined in this approaches, it's which stands for motion of the sticks and the gestures and the motion of the instruments itself, respectively. So by calculating the intensity of the two kind of motions, we gonna we can get some fe features out of that. So that's all about the work that has been done recently. So the further researchers could lie on some other aspects. For example, there's a lack of database because the current ex experiments have most carried on the a private data set, which is small and maybe not that reliable. So that may influence the output results. And the second, uh, which is I find uh, important because when I try to look for some uh, drum scores, I, I think they are missing service that uh, put, put attention on the drum transcription so for the currently popular songs which is actually uh, useful for the drum learners and the drum players. And, uh, so, and the third is uh, looking at the drum scores, we have some text explanations like the dynamics and mu ex expression musical markings, which is can't be uh, extracted for now. So the high level music information could be uh, further research area. For this. 
and also about the video part, uh, extract features from different scenarios of performance videos, which means when, they, when we try to add, uh, analyze a video, if we, from the top side, we can get a good result, but maybe it's from uh, another side, uh, it it's all depends on the cameras. If we don't have a good position, maybe we can't have a nice output. So, so we could put, put much attention on the uh, feature extraction from different positions of the cameras. And a better field method for video and audio uh, fusions. Because the, recent, the currently method is just simply we're using one method and we're using another, another classifier for help. For example, when, it, when, we, when the audio not work, we use a video. So maybe we could use them both in somehow. That's, that's all, thank you.